let's talk about uh, liquidity. Mm, what I mean about this and uh, the reason why we are not trading uh, as retail traders. I see the liquidity as uh, price manipulations uh, to, to make a momentum, to make a real move and catch as many stop losses uh, from beginner traders as possible. And uh, this is uh, this is my my best my best way of way of trading. I, I tried a lot of uh, retail patterns and sometimes they are working, but most of time I was always losing money. Uh, retail traders don't know about supply and demand. They are usually based on support and resistance levels, with belief that. Mm, more retests of uh, the price level or small area is making the strong mm, is making the this area stronger and uh, we are trading here opposite to this to this belief um, I want to show you this uh, yeah here few examples on f few time frames uh, and let's start with the M30. Here I drew um, the demand zone. Uh, it is yeah, drawn different because this is from the one hour time frame demand. But I switched to the M30 to show cleaner the, the support. Here we have the something what retailers uh, are calling as a double bottom. It's two, two times price uh, were at the same price level. So probably uh, a lot of people were looking here for a buy. Even if this move in this case was so big, uh, we as uh, smarter traders shouldn't have any fear of missed opportunity to wait a bit, bit longer with bigger patience to catch the true, true buy. Uh, so if some retail traders use this as a double bottom and uh, joined, joined the trade uh, on retest and then some later uh, wanted to join also because he is probably so strong support so in here mm, who knows how many of the, these people were looking for a buy opportunity because of support and when they put the buy we as a smarter guys should wait for a liquidity grab what happened yes this equal loss and support was created above the the demand zone and here comes the logic and uh, some explanation if these guys were looking for a buy but the price was going down hit their stop losses uh, what they probably did they probably wanted to um, to join the, the sellers on retest to uh, to make this loss back yes and uh, when we see the liquidity grab and looking for a buy they were already on the sell position and look what happened probably these guys lost the money twice yet they, they were in panic at first losing buy, then joining the sellers, and once again manipulation. So this is what I am looking for. And so I am not trading double top or bottoms. I am always waiting for, uh, for taking the, the stop losses. Uh, let's check how it looks like on the M5. Just a different scenario. I have here also the demand zone and just above the zone were created equal lows what could be also called as a support so some of traders maybe took a buy here because of double double bottom or were waiting longer um, to trade that to take a trade from support but what happened there was a liquidity grab the thing what we are looking for so if someone took a buy here 
he lost. He wanted to, to join the sellers to recover the account and he lost for a second time. And then somewhere here we are looking to take a buy. But about entries it will be uh, in next lessons. This is just to, to know how the market moves and what we are looking for. And uh, let's check the M1 example. Here it is just uh, more with bigger risk because the, the drone demand was used few times. But on two previous examples, the equal loss and support was created just above the zone. And I just w I want to show you that sometimes it can also happen on the higher edge of the zone, in this case on demand. So price was sitting here, looks like rejection. Third time as a proof how strong the support is and then happened the liquidity grab. Take a look also that um, liquidity grabs need to be with the high volume and the pushback should be as made as soon as possible. Here we can see that the rejection wave was so strong that even left a gap here. So powerful push back up. Mm, so please remember we are not trading here uh, support or double triple bottoms we are always looking for break of the zone to invite even more traders to to see the panic on the market and to join the opposite side uh, this is also same with resistance and equal highs here I drew the bigger zone it is on daily time frame. I'm not usually marking so big zones, but this is to show you the, the examples why we are not trading double top in this case and rejection from resistance with belief that multiple touches are making the this area stronger. It's just making the pressure to invite more uh, more traders. To, to catch their stop losses. So for me here is very clean uh, resistance and equal highs just below the big big zone. So yes there was a rejection they invited the, the sellers correctly and then it was boom break break of this resistance so it could be read by retail traders as a break of structure and resistance became support. So what can what could happen here as a retest? Even more buyers who lost before uh, tried to join the retest as a simple boss and they lost second, second time. Uh, this is wonderful. It happened every single day. So that's why uh, patients always pay as we are saying. Uh, let's check an example on the lower time frame. There's also supply zone, price made equal highs. So we are not trading the double top, we are waiting for break of this. So once again, yes, uh, the, the beginner traders were manipulated and this is this happened very often also to me in the past. When I lost one trade um, by some fast move, I was in panic, yes, uh, this is not a secret. Uh, I blew a few accounts and uh, when I, I lost in one wave, I tried almost always to catch the opposite wave. Because the break and retest was <laughs> always interesting for me and uh, just later I learned that there are just market manipulations, any fake outs. I don't like this word, I prefer to use the liquidity grab. So we are always, we should always wait for, for this price action. And the example on M1 about equal highs is also below the supply, uh, different day, different scenario, but similar move. Yes, uh, equal highs which made, made the resistance 
rejection candles as invitation. I know that retail traders are not probably trading M1, but I read the candles same on all time frames. Rejection candle is a rejection candle. So we could say that this is moving like a fractal. So what happens on what happened on the bigger time frame, the similar candles can create be created on the lower time frame. Uh, and once again, move to the up break of this resistance uh, could be read uh, by retail traders as a break of structure that resistance became support. So second trade and boom, it was a sell. Just getting uh, taking the better price for a true sell. So don't be too early, don't be manipulated, but wait, wait for uh, for our pattern. I also shared on the guide channel. So now I need to say sorry about changing the background from so dark to the light. And this is what I shared on the guide channel. Uh, the maybe a bit cleaner and wonderful uh, line chart uh, what we are looking for yes not trading double double tops or double bottoms because usually there are these are created above demand or below supply or even touching the lower edge of supply or higher edge of demand please always wait for the liquidity grab so the manipulation move this is this is our key from about this strategy so this is only about how how the market is moving and we are going slowly uh, to to the entries